Hello, dear viewer, dear listener. My name is Mumpulu Kileruma Mohobe, coming to you once again on this lovely show of ours, Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom podcast. I have uh, brought a familiar guest to most of you, Mr. Sa Taratsosa, the author of the book, Mashele. I'll let him tell us more about Mashele. Mashele means zaga, money. So he has a lot to say on the subject, but today we're going to talk about the subject of retirement and what comes with it. Mr. Seattle, would you like to introduce yourself to those who don't know who you are? Please look at the camera and tell them who you are and what you do for a living. Yeah, um, thank you very much for that introduction, Mr. Mawib. Um As introduced, my name is Seattle. Um, um, those who follow Mr. Mawib's YouTube channel, you might have seen me in the past two episodes. Um, so I'm a financial advisor, um, wealth advisor, you can call it that. Um, I run a company called Ignite Wealth Financial Services. Um, so what we basically do is teach people, we train people about issues of money, how to handle money, how to, how to plan wealth, um, and um, anything that is related to finances, basically. Today we're going to talk about things that people should keep in mind when we talk about retirement planning. Just as an, uh, an introductory subject, I don't believe in retirement in the yeah. sense of doing nothing. <laughs> yes. Uh, but you certainly believe it's important, and I also believe in planning for your old age. Yeah. So call it retirement, call it planning for, for old age. Yeah. Um, why do you think it's important for Motswana to think about that at this time? Yes. Um, so I rightfully said, um, you, you, you don't retire to, to, to die. Mm. Um, but you plan for old age, really, that's what we are talking about. Um, because while you are still working, um, you're, there are so many opportunities available um, for you. Um, you are working, you are earning, you can change jobs as and when you want. But there comes a time when employers say, um, you are a bit aged for us to, to be with you. So mm. um, you can go home and, 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 and rest, and be mm. with your kids, um, do, do other things, basically. So. Um, that is the main reason why um, we find it very, very important for people to plan um, for that period in their lives. Okay. Now, let's talk specifically about retirement. Um, it's always important to plan long term for retirement. How soon or how early should one be planning for retirement? As soon as possible. Um, I always encourage young people to start as soon as they start work. Mm. Um, for those who are fortunate working for large corporates and maybe government, um, you'll find that um, those, um, those plans are already embedded mm. in their, in their um, employment packages. Mm. Um, so as soon as they are employed, they sign on that contract, already they start um, contributing towards a pension. You also believe that one should plan for a long retirement. What yeah. makes it long these yeah. days? Yeah, so mo most people normally think um, when, you are, when you are retired or after your retirement age, um, which nowadays has come down to, to 55, um, in, some, in some areas like in the, in the BDF. You're talking about be, in government? Yes. Um, in, in some areas like the BDF, they have a different policy. Um, you can actually, when you have worked for, I think about 18 years, um, you, 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 you are qualified to retire. So you can actually retire much earlier than 55. So if you look uh, at government, the... Government, don't they say at 45 you can get voluntary retirement? Yes. Mm. Um, so the, the Pensions Act um, says 55. Um, government says um, 45 you can get um, voluntary retirement. Um, so, but I can explain that later, um, mm. the differences between the two. Um, but basically, if you look at 45 or 55, and then you look at the years that you might live for um, after, after that age, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long period of time. Um, actually, it can be way longer than um, the period that you have worked for. Mm. So one should be planning for 20 years plus? 20 years plus. 30 years even, 40 years? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, now let's talk about health care costs. Uh, I think it's an obvious observation, yeah. given the influence of inflation and other factors, that costs of health care do increase each and every year. So speak to that subject so that the viewer can better understand why it's something yeah. that they need to maybe even sit down with a financial planner to talk about. Yeah. I think. I think 
it's, it's, it's something that we, we often forget um, about when we are planning for retirement, but it's the, the, the most critical factor um, to consider if you want to plan well and say, um, at 55, I'm retiring. Um, what are the current costs um, of, of, of health care? And the reason why we stated specifically that is because as you age, mm. um, your need for medical attention, um, it rises than mm. when you are younger. Mm -hmm. um, so it's important for you to have a bigger budget um, for, for health costs than when you were younger. So as the prices um, continue to escalate, um, you need to know that that is going to seriously affect whatever income that you'll be getting mm. um, after retirement. Okay, so um, now women need to save more for their retirement than men do. Yeah. Uh, that's a very interesting one. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you sure? Uh, is it because women live longer and if so, why? Why is it that, that so? But let's, let's explain. Yeah. Let's get you to explain why that aspect is important. Yeah. So, well, a, a lot of um, um, uh, researchers have come out to, to say that um, women do actually live longer um, than men. Um, they say about 57% um, um, of um, retired people um, are women and um, over 70 percent or, or around 70 percent of people who are old and um, and poor are women mm -hmm. so if you look at the working lives of uh, men and women um, it is always said and um, um, there are so many reports that have come out to say that uh, men generally on average and more than women so in percentage um, forms, you find that then it's important for women to actually save a lot more money. If they earn less on average than men, they need to save a lot more money while working, mm -hmm. um, considering also that um, the chances of living longer than men is mm -hmm. extremely high. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that is why um, it's, it's quite important for women to consider saving way mm -hmm. more than what men do. Okay, and then uh, in terms of costs, are the costs of retirement the same for women as men? Well, health-wise, um, I think um, it's, it's, it's the same. But generally, if you look at, um, I don't have evidence to back this one up, mm. um, but as a, as a, as a, as a husband, um, I know that um, women tend to frequent the hospital <laughs> way more than men because they really do um, care about their health. Mm. Um, uh, men so either they care or they are hypochondriacs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's the first one. They it's, really yeah. care more than men. They really do care. So they, they, they do spend a lot of money when it comes to um, health care um, mm. issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's take the discussion a little bit further. Um, now, retirement income required has increased uh, ex exponentially. It seems to me you are saying 126 yeah. percent uh, of pre-retirement income. Yeah. Explain that. Explain pre-retirement income and how it relates to post-retirement income. Yeah. Um, so there, there has always been um, financial advisors have always um, 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 said that you need to save up enough money so that by the time you start earning your, 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 your pension income, um, it should be at at least 70% to 90% of, of the income that you were earning just before retirement, right? Mm -hmm. So if you were earning 10,000, for example, um, when you retire, you'd want to earn at least 7,000 to, to 9,000 pula. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what has happened um, over the years, because of the, 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 the increasing costs um, of healthcare um, over the years, mm -hmm. um, the, the need to actually um, have to retire with more than um, the money that you were earning pre-retirement has gone extremely high, um, which is why it has gone over the 100% mark. So we would expect you to want to earn um, more than 10,000 when you have retired, maybe 12,600. I'm um, somewhere there, because there's a. Let's say you are earning hundred thousand pula per annum. Yes. What? Let's talk about retirement. How much uh, do you need to set aside for retirement in such a circumstance? Mm -hmm. If you are earning hundred thousand pula um, per annum. Just for as an example. Okay. Um, so. It, it can be very technical, it needs mm. some calculations. Mm. Um, but um, there's, a, there's a rule 
um, that is there, um, which says by age 35, you need to have accumulated um, more than twice um, your annual income at that age, mm -hmm. right? Um, when you are at that point and you have accumulated more than twice mm. um, of, your, of your annual income, you know that you are on the right path. So when calculations are done, um, you are most likely, if you are going to retire um, 20 years later, which is at age 55 from 35, mm -hmm. you are most likely going to be earning an income of about um, 70 to 80%. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, that is. That, that would be seventy thousand. That would be. That would in be in relation to someone getting yes, hundred thousand. Yes. Okay. That would be seventy thousand. Mm -hmm. um, but if you if you if you um, really consider what we have spoken uh, uh, about before, um, that that might not um, be enough. Um, you need to strive to actually um, be investing more towards your retirement. The 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 the. the the year 35 um, mm -hmm. rule, it, it, it assumes that you are actually um, investing 20% of your income every year towards without retirement fail. without mm -hmm. fail, mm -hmm. right? It will get investing you... Investing in an interest earning in asset? An, yes, normally mm -hmm. um, um, retirement funds are interest earning, mm -hmm. yeah. So it assumes 20%, but if you do more than 20%, you are most likely um, going to reach the, the, the target of earning more than 100% of your pre-retirement income. Okay. Yeah. So really what we're talking about is a situation where, uh, I mean, how does it get to 126%? That's the part I, I don't understand. <laughs> Me, are, I'm a, just a simple lawyer who happens yeah. to be a businessman. Please yeah. have some uh, consideration <laughs> for <laughs> For me, I'm not a numbers guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I don't have the, the the exact rule that they used, mm. um, but those are those are the numbers um, currently uh, making rounds mm. when actuaries are actually making those calculations. Yes. Um, to say that at 100 percent, it assumes that you are going to have the same expenses as before mm. um, you retired. But after retirement, if your health costs go up. Mm -hmm. then you might want to add an extra 26% on top of what is normal mm -hmm. so that you can live well as a mm -hmm. retired person. So really one has to save aggressively to, be sa to retire successfully, am I right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right, let's, let's take it a little bit further. How can one save for retirement? Is it uh, just a matter of setting aside a percentage or is there uh, other tricks? Yeah. Um, in the, do you have other tricks in your arsenal which you can recommend <laughs> to recommend to the viewer? Yeah, so the, the, there are so many ways to save for retirement. Um, and what we are speaking to now um, is basically developing a fund that will give you um, a monthly income. That is, um, that is uh, we can say that is close to guarantee, mm. right? Um, but there are so many other ways because while you are still working, um, if 20% is going towards building a retirement fund, you need to be um, doing at least 10% or another 20% to other, other forms of assets mm. um, so that they can help to, 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 to increase what you'll be earning um, you know, after retirement. You can get into um, real estate because those are things that take, uh, take time. I, I hear a lot of young people nowadays, they feel that you can get into real estate today and tomorrow you are a real estate mogul. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it, it takes time. It, uh, you, you, know, you, you need to invest in it over years and years, it and years and years and years and years. It takes time. Mm. But, but, but a lot of them don't understand this. Mm. And, um, Is it, it not because of the culture of instant gratification? Instant coffee, instant yeah, uh, yeah. Instagram, everything yeah. is, yeah. It is, yeah. it is. But they, you know the funny thing about, um, um, about young people, and, uh, and I'm a young person myself, mm. um, is that... Uh, are you talking they, millennials, or are you talking about yeah. Y generation as well, the YGs as well? X yes. gen and YG, X all those. X gen and yeah, all those. Yeah. So they, 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 they feel that um, um, wealth should be instant. Mm. Um, but at the same time, they follow, um, uh, you know, they take a lot of inspiration from, from artists and, and, and actors, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think the challenge is that they never really try to find out the background of those people. Mm. Because if you were to study 
mm -hmm. um, those that you follow, you realize that um, the, 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 the success was not instant. Mm. You know, they actually worked behind the scenes for so many years before they actually became celebrities. There's always so, blood, sweat, and tears behind the success. Absolutely. Uh, mm. All right. No, that's fine. Let's, 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 um, what's the income, what's the minimum income level for one to participate? And I'm asking this also, when you look at this, I also want you to deal with the question of whether it's, it's feasible for one to, to do it on their own, as opposed to having to resort into an insurance company or using an insurance company to help you with the retirement. Yeah. So I, I, I think you can address that issue and unpack it a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Um, you, 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 th th there are so many options, really. Um, you can save um, the traditional way of saving, uh, maybe through a bank um, or any other type of investment. Um, but the, what, what is common about um, retirement funds is that um, people think that you need to be working. Mm. Um, you need to be employed maybe by government and they call it permanent and pensionable. Mm. You know, that, uh, that, uh, that, that saying, I think it's the one that um, has really um, put a lot of people, um, you know, outside the, 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 the pension funds. Mm. You know, to say, no, this is not for us. I work on contract, so I can't have a pension. I'm yeah. not permanent. Even somebody you who's self-employed or an entrepreneur yes. can, 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 can actually get a pension. Mm. So normally for, for you, you need to identify an, an, an authorized um, um, pension um, fund manager. Mm. Um, and then it can be insurance companies, your mm. Alexander Forbes, Metropolitan, Botswana Lives, and all these other um, life insurance companies. I suppose so, the advantage of involving those companies is that the discipline of having maybe a stop order or a debit order of some kind. Yes. So that you can save regularly on a monthly basis. Absolutely. Whereas if you do it yourself, sometimes the level yeah. of discipline is less. Yeah. And over and above that, uh, Mr. Mowabe, uh, you, you know that before, uh, before the, the Pensions Act was enacted, mm. um, people used to, and uh, you know, it was just graduate, mm. you know, and we know people who used to work at the mines, mm. you know, they will get their graduates, they come back home, um, they look wealthy for a week or two, mm. and then um, suddenly you wonder what happened, mm. because they, they got all their money and uh, um, they were not um, using it properly. Mm. So over the years, now they became a, a burden to government, and then a decision was made that, you know what, um, everyone is to save towards their retirement. This money will be locked. You will not have any access to this money um, until percentage? you retire. Eta? Is it a percentage of, the, of what you earn? Is it the amount that is locked? Yes, normally, normally it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a percentage of what you earn, but it depends on the employer. Mm. So the employer can choose. Um, minimums in the market are, are around 5%. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, you know, government is always the benchmark. Um, you see government is sitting at um, 15%, other entities around 16% within mm. government. Um, so those are the, the, the employer contributions. And then the employee can also choose to either match the employer or contribute a minimum of 5%. So what we have been seeing in the market is that the employer will be doing 15%, the employee will be doing 5%. Mm. And then it comes to the 20% that we spoke about. Yes. That is the golden rule. Yes, right? yes. Everybody wants to get to 20%, but if you want to live um, way better than most, mm. um, you try to match the employer and then you do So in the 30%. event that you, you are given an increment during that period, yeah. um, is it important to keep adjusting the figure? Yes, mm. you need to keep adjusting the figure. Uh, the, 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 the thing about um, income, Mr. Mr. Mo, is that mm. um, you, 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 you know yourself, mm. right? As, as you continue to grow, um, spending 10,000 used to be a big thing mm. because you were young and you were earning 10,000, right? And then um, when you get older, you are earning 100,000, then suddenly 10,000 is nothing. Mm. So imagine if you, you are still saving the same amount that mm. you were saving when you were earning 10,000, right? Mm. Um, we have seen horrible stories, you mm. know, having worked um, um, in, in insurance companies where people who were earning a lot of money, suddenly they are retiring only to find out that they will be earning a tenth of what they are used to. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you help somebody like that? <laughs> At that age. Yeah, that's a challenge. Yeah.
what benefits does it have uh, to have a retirement plan in the in the short term is there any short term benefits yes they are mm. um, so the, the the short term benefits really for 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 retirement funds is that um, this is a this is a, a saving plan or mm. an investment plan which is highly encouraged by government mm. and normally when government encourages something you know there are some tax rebates and mm. and, and all of those things mm. so this is the the the, the 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 only investment that is actually um tax deductible for individuals um, right um so your 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 pay as you earn um will be deducted after the, mm -hmm. the, the 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 pension has uh, has come out yeah yeah right um, so you're not taxed on it you're not taxed on it mm. um any other investment you in care tax so if you if you in the long term you can actually um save thousands every year um in refunds that you get from from burs mm. um when you do your returns because you are contributing towards a superannuation fund mm -hmm. right um, so if you are getting that, those are savings that you can actually invest in something else. Okay. You know, so it's a, it's a, it's a perfect way of actually investing and saving at the same time. Okay. Is it, is it more important to save for, for your children's education? A lot, you, you have young children yourself. Yes. If you have to decide between saving for retirement and saving for school fees. Yeah. Uh, even tertiary fees. Maybe yeah. even overseas. Yeah. Which one is more important in your experience? Yeah, uh, you know, if 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 you can afford, I would always have, uh, advise that um, you do both, mm -hmm. right? Um, but if you can't, I would highly recommend that um, you subscribe um, to to a pension plan and you become very very aggressive on mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the tax benefits over the period, um, they are massive. If mm -hmm. you because normally people work for 25. 30, 35 years, right? Mm. If you look at the the annual savings every year, mm. and then when the when the when the when the fund matures at retirement, you also get a third, mm. which is tax free, mm. um, right? So th those are huge benefits. You can actually use that third if you target it well. You can use that third for your children's um, um, tertiary education mm -hmm. if you wish. So you've actually taken advantage of the system at the same time. You can mm. use the money to do. So it's not exactly. an either or. You can have both if you are smart about it. You can have both. If but I suppose it takes finding somebody like you with the expertise, yeah. somebody who's steeped in the industry to explain how it works. Absolutely. Because am I right in thinking that a lot of people uh, don't even bother because it seems it sounds so complex. Yeah, a lot of people don't bother. Um, it sounds complex and. Um, you, you know, when we, when we do a financial analysis for, for, for individuals, we mm. show them the stance, we show them the percentages, mm. we show them the indicative um, retirement funds, you mm. know. Um, we do these calculations for them, and it's always an eye-opener. Mm -hmm. Because when you are just saving, you are earning 10,000, you are saving 500, you just feel it's enough. Mm. But it's way less than enough, mm. you know, because what, 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 what normally people do, they prioritize their... Um, their, their, their mm. consumer spending mm. and then um, um, investments and savings come last. Mm -hmm. So that's why somebody will say, no, I'm saving 500 bullets, a lot of money. Um, you know, it used to be 200, now it's 500, you know. For us, we don't really care about that. We look at the percentage that you are saving against the income that you are getting. Mm. If it's not sufficient, we know that you are going to be poor. I read um, somewhere at retirement. about Mr. Templeton. Templeton He's a famous billionaire who died some years ago. That they, him and his wife used to set aside 50% yeah. for as a saving plan in general, not yeah. just for retirement. Yeah. Do you think such an aggressive approach can work in Botswana? Well, it requires a lot of education. Yeah. Um, so that's that's that, that's really what we try to do on a daily basis to educate people to understand that. Mm. Um, there is life after after retirement, mm. and the fund that you are actually getting now, um, it's it's not enough fun. Mm. There is so much fun when you know that um, you, you you are financially free and mm. you can do whatever you want to do. Because um, trust me when I say that um, people with money mm. will always take advantage of people who don't have money. Yeah. Not because they are bad people, mm. right? Um, because they're the only ones who have this um, scarce resource. They have financial resource. literacy. They have financial literacy. Mm. And, yeah. and really, they are not, it's not taking advantage. It's just that they happen to have more, uh, more literacy. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Money gravitates to money those who, 
who are literate absolutely. in that field. Absolutely. I don't know if I'm right. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> okay, all right. Hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. Now we're making some progress here. Um, there's a tenth nugget uh, to share with the viewers: things to avoid, yeah. or things to um, to avoid doing uh, when 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 you are thinking of your retirement. Yes. What are those things? Can you summarize them? Yeah. So normally, when people are still um, employed, um, they'll be maybe on a pension plan, and um, every now and then they they change jobs. And when you change jobs, there's a there's a there's a provision which allows you to draw um, a, a certain percentage from your fund. Up to fifty percent, right? Up to no, it's it's about twenty five percent. Yeah, okay, yeah. up to twenty five. Yeah, mm. Up to it's a it's a it's a third twenty five percent, whichever is higher. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um. So so people tend to, and you know, nowadays, um, very few people can actually. Um, be in one job until they retire. No, you know, yes. they keep on changing, they keep on changing companies, yeah. going there and there. So as, as they move around, um, they keep on drawing mm. from the pension fund. They keep on drawing from the pension fund. And then the, 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 the sad thing is that um, they, they draw, but they don't understand the implications of, um, of what they're doing um, to their fund. Mm. Um, which, which, which is supposed to be building towards retirement. Mm. So the 20% that you have been accumulating, um, as you keep changing jobs and you are drawing 25%, mm. right? by the time you retire, you have less than a third of what you should be retiring with. Mm. Mm. And what's, 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 what's even bad is that um, a lot of employees who are actually on a pension fund, which is another point, mm. um, a mistake that they make, they never really know how much is in their fund mm. for the period of their employment. Mm. You call someone who's just about to retire, mm. you ask them how much do you think you have in your retirement fund. Mm. They are not sure. Mm. The last time they saw a statement was like 10 years ago. Mm. But every year, um, the, the fund managers will always send a pension statement to say, look where you are. Mm. And the reason why they're sending that statement is for you to assess the investment, mm. to say, okay, so these guys are giving me this, this much interest. This is how much I've accumulated. It's not enough. Mm. Mm. I want to do more. Yes. I want to do more. But if you are not aware, you don't know. Mm. And even if you do get the statements and you know the amount, it's very important for you to engage a financial advice and say, ah, I've worked for 15 years. Um, I got my, my statement is here. It says I have accumulated 400,000. Do you think um, by the time I retire, I would be having a million? Mm. And then you do calculations and say, no, 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 no. For you to get to a million, you need to top up by this much. Yeah. So those are, those are uh, um, quite a number of mistakes that, um, that uh, people made. normally make yeah. um, while they're still employed. Okay, that's yeah. why it's important to consult somebody like you. Now, is there a bonus point or uh, something that you want uh, the viewer to take away from this conversation that yeah. you can share with us? Yes, um, we've touched on it, um, but I think um, it's, it's, it's very important, more especially for entrepreneurs. Um, you know, um, business people, they, they, they tend to, um, to think that their businesses are going to be there uh, for the rest of their lives, you know. They feel that retirement planning is not something that is, is for them. Yeah. It's, for people, it's for people who are employed. Mm. Um, but you know, in my field, I deal with um, business people who want to sell their businesses, business people who want to move away from business and do something else. Yes. Maybe, maybe get into politics, maybe, mm. do, maybe do some community work, yeah, maybe become maybe, a pastor. Maybe set up a consultancy you know, or, you know, or start employment. Or start, yeah. So they, 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 they always feel that retirement is not for them, but it is very important for each and every person to actually um, plan for retirement. It doesn't mm. matter whether your type of business is one which gets money once in a year. If you are receiving, if you are working on tenders, you get one big tender in a year, it pays mm. you two million. You take a million, you put it towards a retirement fund, yeah. right? Mm. And then you work with your, 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 your other million. Next year, you get another million, you take 400,000 to throw it to a pension fund because mm. there will come a day because you don't know um, how things are going to yeah, change as years go. Nobody knows what tomorrow has. Nobody so. knows what tomorrow has. So mm. it's, it's, it's very important for, for, mm. for, for everyone to actually plan okay. for. As we come to the end of our time together, I want you to talk about this book and show the viewer yes. what, uh, what was on your mind when you came up with that book. 
yes. and how can it help them? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Masheling, Masheling is a, it's mm. a. Hold it up, please. Oh yeah. Mm. Masheling is a is a is a is a is a name that um, a friend of mine um, came up with. Um, so we were doing a TV show, um, and we were just speaking about money. He said, mm. um, "No, you you should call this show Masheling, mm. um, so that it can um, resonate with a lot of uh, mm. Botswana." Yeah. You know. So um, during the lockdown, I was I I've always been thinking about what to write about because there's so much content around um, financial education. Mm. Um, but I decided that you know. Um, the best story to tell is your story. Mm. Um, you know, um, instead of reciting, um, you know, um, 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 terms and explaining them what mm. this means, what that means, mm. because I felt that um, our story um, of the lessons that we learned growing up mm. has a greater um, has a greater influence on greater the way that yeah, it um, we, more. yes. Mm. Um, so that's that's that, that's exactly what I did. So this book um, it narrates my story. Mm. Um, obviously, it's very thin. It's not um, the whole of it, mm. <laughs> but um, it, it 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 just um, tells my story of um, how I grew up, how I was introduced to my very first coin, mm. and what I was taught when I was given that coin. Mm. Um, was I taught? Was I not taught? Yeah. Um, you know what happened. And what did I use it for? Did I understand what that really meant? Yeah. You know, yeah. and then as I transitioned from 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 childhood, I'm um, going into primary, junior school, senior school. What I was learning, mm. the latest trends. Who was influencing me? Was mm. I learning from home or was I learning from friends? Mm. So all of those things, um, they played a major role mm. in the way that um, I started interacting with money mm. when I was um, actually mm, okay. when I was older. Mm. Um, so basically, this is. Um, what has been put in this book. And then I've also um, um, tried to make it as interactive as possible so that people can also, as they read my story, mm. they can also remember their childhood stories mm. and then write a few points wow. on the book to say that um, I remember my first coin, yeah. I remember what my grandfather taught me. Wow, you know? wow. Because once we go back and remember those stories, mm. that is actually, that can save us. That is mm. actually when we can say, oh, this is where it went wrong. Mm -hmm. This is how I was taught. This is why I'm behaving like well, this. <laughs> and then maybe you can teach your, yeah. your children um, something totally yeah. different and help them to understand that finances. That is great. Yeah. Dear viewer, this is a book to look out for. Yeah. Get in touch with my guest and get a copy as soon as possible. Can you tell the viewer how they can access you, sir? And where they can find you if they need to carry on with this conversation, especially about retirement about this book yes um so definitely the 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 the, the first point is to go to mohobe nuggets of wisdom and subscribe to the youtube page um mm -hmm. there is not just um one interview there there are about three interviews that i've had with mr mohobe yeah. um personally i have a, a facebook page um at seattle pandora sosa official um, that's my official page where we speak anything that has to do with finances. We post every every three to four um, yeah. a days. We put out something there. Yeah, I just want to say that I appreciate you, sir. You were my uh, relationship manager for many years when you were Standard Chartered Bank, yeah. and you've assisted my company go, uh, you know, jump leaps and bounds to where it is today. Yeah. So I really, really appreciate you. I want the viewer to know that uh, our relationship has been sustained over many years and uh, I really appreciate what you've done. Thank yes. you for accepting our invitation and uh, dear viewer, until next time, this is Mumpuluki Luruma Mokobe signing off.